Hi, my name is Ray Pastor, and today I'm going to talk about the office cubicle. So how many people work in a place like this? You know, a nice little uh, office cubicle. Well, this is something I did for a number of years. Um, I actually didn't really work in a cubicle too often. I usually had my own office, but it didn't look much different than this, and there were always cubicles around. And some clients that I worked with, I you know, I did work in a cubicle like this. So why? Why do we, you know force ourselves to work in a place like this. So my first question would be, does this look like any place in your home? Do we have this boring, you know, look at the colors. There's really no colors, lots of gray, maybe some brown. Um, I don't even see images. Um, very boring, you know, office space. So why do we choose, you know, I think that an office like this and a little work area like this is really nice when you're gonna work somewhere for an hour or two, but when you're talking about spending 40 hours at a minimum per week sitting in this little cube right here. You know, does it speak, do, do you see, you know, when you see this cube, is the first thing you think of is, wow, I'd really like to sit there for 40 hours per week, or that looks like a really comfortable place, I'd love to be there. Um, are those the things that pop into your head when you first see this? Um, I will tell you that for myself, the answer is no. I don't at all want to be there. I don't even want to be there for an hour, let alone 40 hours. You know, I prefer to work in the most comfortable environment, and I don't mind working 60 to 80 hours per week, as long as it's on my own terms in a comfortable place. I really don't want to work in this uncomfortable environment. I can't do it day in, day out. Um, so I really, you know, can't figure out why we thought that this was a good idea to have people work in these kind of environments. You know, I think that in when we first started forming offices like this, you know, it was very convenient because we could fit a number of people on an office floor, you know, but with the advent of the internet um, and the fact that we can now video conferencing, telecommuting is so popular, I don't see why we're still forcing the people in, to work like in an environment like this 40 plus hours per week. There's really no excuse. You know, you see the tech industry moving away from that. Companies like Google, Microsoft have really cool work environments. In fact, a lot of those places allow their employees to work however they want. If they want to work in a beanbag chair, that's fine. You know, they let them, you know, decorate. The offices don't look like this. They're very colorful with ping pong tables and ca cool cafeterias where you can get free food um, and good break rooms and places to go to. They want to make the environment as comfortable as possible. And you'll see new offices that don't look like this. You know, if I just do a Google search for home offices, I'm going to see a lot of different things that don't really look like that. They're going to look a lot different. They're going to have the same basic features, but they're not going to look like this cube. So what are some ways to, you know, change the office cube? One, obviously, is to allow your employees to work wherever they want to. If they don't need to be there for a specific meeting or a specific reason, there's no reason for them to be there. Now, some people can't work like that. They need to be somewhere, but not everyone. I know people who work in Starbucks every day. That's their comfort zone, and they get a lot of work done. Working in a cubicle or in an office doesn't equate to productivity. In fact, it's the opposite. When someone's comfortable, they actually work more than if they're not. So how can we actually change this? So obviously, one is allowing people to work how they want to. And, you know... But what if you, you know, you're at a company where you really need to be in that cubicle? What can you do? Um, or how do we deal with this office space issue? Well, there's a lot of things. And it's not just, oh, let's decorate the office by putting some pictures up on the wall and trying to make it a little colorful. First of all, why did you, why choose this kind of setup to begin with? Why do we choose these boring office features, these boring office colors? You know, why did we do that? Why is the floor all just this one color, one pattern? Why don't we have a, a spaced area for relaxation or for ideas or like a mind building station? You know, there's all kinds of different things you can do where you can give your employees time to do other things that actually help them be more productive. So it's really good to do that. But the main point of this video is we need to break away from this idea that this is how we need to work, that this is what it needs to look like. It doesn't need to look like this cubicle. We don't need to have places like this. You know, this is not comfortable for people. So if you're talking about making your employees happy, you shouldn't have them working in, a, in an environment like this to begin with. Thank you.